Haitian Jack was. And uh, we all knew his capabilities. Haitian Jack's reputation was very uh, charismatic, very flashy. Um, yeah, pretty much like what Tupac described him as. That's all, all that good stuff. When me and Tupac met, he was doing a movie above the rim. And I didn't know it at the time, but he was studying me for the role that he was playing in this movie. You should be right, man. If you trying to hurt nobody, one day he said to me, I was glad I met you when I did, because it really helped me with that character I was working on. And I said, you got something for me? And that, he was like, yeah, man, you know, just your swagger, the way you handle yourself, and how everybody's always around you. That was important for me to see that that, that happens. And people gravitate to the gangster. You go in the club and they had a VIP section. It's all roped off and shit. But the VIP section wasn't for famous people or rich people. It was for fucking drug dealers. It's like a, a badge of honor. I just walked over and shook hands in front of all y'all with the biggest drug dealer in the city. Y'all know I know this nigga. You know, it's that kind of thing. People said Tupac was infatuated by Jack. He wanted to be like the gangster, and he followed every move Jack made, right? I don't think he's infatuated. I think he's at awe that my style was different. Yeah, I think he liked the elegance that I brought into his life. You know what I'm saying? I used to tell him, look, man, you can't walk around here with your pants hanging off your ass, homie. Let me get you something real. Change up your gear a little bit, man. Pac and Amani, Dolce and Gabbana. You know, I bought him a Rolex. Let me see if I can groom him and educate him to how he needs to behave to make it.